I remember years ago when we were approached by developers about putting uh, six-story buildings downtown. It was fabulous. We were so looking forward to that development and then we realized we we really needed to upgrade our infrastructure to ensure that we had the water flow for the fire suppression. So this redevelopment for our downtown is not only to create that hard infrastructure that's going to provide us with the, the infrastructure underneath the pavement to provide that water flow and take away the wastewater, it's also going to ensure that we can create a place where people can gather, where our community can celebrate and have a real good belief in the future and diversify. So council and staff as well as the uh, consultants are looking to enhance the experience for our pedestrians in our community. So upon looking at that, we've uh, in consultation, we've looked at expanding the sidewalks on either side uh, of the lanes. Uh, and that's going to, of course, shorten our actual through traffic from four lanes that we have right now down to three lanes. There's still going to be parking on both sides uh, for uh, what we have right now, but we find that we're still going to be able to handle the same amount of traffic flow going back and forth with the through traffic, but we're going to have designated actual in the center an actual turn lane to either go left or right. That will also handle our snow removal because now the center part in between where the actual turn lane happens is where we're going to throw the snow into the middle of that like we used to do, but instead of taking away the actual through lanes that we had before, that's an actual designated just a non-use lane until you get to toward the end where it is a turn lane there. So that's going to address our snow removal. We're going to have parking. We're going to have through lanes that will address the same amount of traffic flow that we have and our pedestrian experience with expanding the sidewalk area. So one common misconception with this project is that we're spending a lot of money that we don't need to be and actually a lot of this money, the vast majority of it, we do need to spend no matter what. The underground utilities, they need to be replaced. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They just have to be done. And while we're digging them up, we might as well upgrade them to make sure that if some of these buildings go to two or three story buildings or further, eventually that our infrastructure can support that. So that is the majority of our costs. And you know, if we're digging everything up anyway, we just wanna know what people want and to make sure that we are getting the community's <laughs> input for building streets, sidewalks, infrastructure that is going to benefit all of us. I'm really impressed with staff engaging the public, whether it's been at downtown events or at City Hall or down at the Cultural Center. And this time, not only are we asking questions, but we're moving forward. This is going to happen. Uh, we have another event on Saturday between 1 and 3 p.m. at the Cultural Center where we're going to be giving back to the community. This is what we've heard you say, did we get this right? 